The new Dynavap Armored Cap is such a great upgrade for pretty much anyone who owns a Dynavap. It has a number of benefits, but there's a few primary ones that are going to appeal to the vast majority of people. The first one, as you can see, is you no longer have to spin the cap. You can just aim the torch at it. I like to move mine around a little bit so it doesn't get too red, but you no longer have to spin it because this cap is much thicker. Also, because this cap is thicker and it has more thermal mass, this takes way more heat. So I'm doing my best to really slowly roast it. I want the tip heated up, I want the cap heated up, I want the material itself heated up before it actually is going to click and I'm going to start my inhale. Because of that more thermal mass, not only is this cap going to drink up more heat, but it's going to hold that heat for way longer. What I'm demonstrating here is four hits in one heating cycle. I have a full bowl loaded here, and I only heat it up the one time. The total heating time for this was 52 seconds, so it is a substantial length of time that you're able to heat this one for if you really want to try to heat it low. But just check out the amount of vapor that I'm able to get from one single heating cycle. The thing I was really surprised about was the third hit was one of the, if not the thickest hit of the bunch, which I was really impressed about. And by the fourth hit, it had started to peter out a little bit, as you would expect. The armored cap is made from stainless steel, and it will work in an induction heater, as long as it fits in the induction heater, and it's 12 millimeters wide if you want to try to measure yours. One thing I was really impressed about though, check out how the AVV looks. I thought with that amount of vapor it might be pretty charred, pretty black, but this is in the light brown, medium brown sort of side, so if you wanted you could even probably push this one more go, but I'm really impressed with the amount of vapor I'm getting from a single heating cycle.